Hey guys, today I'm going to be working on a Kohler generating system. So one of the first things you want to do is make sure that the transfer switch automatically turns over. So what you're going to do is you're going to shut off the service disconnect. That will kick in this Kohler generator. The transfer switch is this thing over here. That will send the power through the house um, showing that it is working and doing what it needs to do when they're sensing no power. Go ahead and get the power back to the house. We'll wait for this to shut down and we'll get started. Hit the off button and shut off the gas. First thing we're gonna do is use a 10 millimeter socket and get this front cover off. Make sure the wing nut is taken off like this. Gotta take the side panels off as well, like so. And now with the side panels off, the front will come off and we have a completely opened up generator. Start by looking for the hose and connecting it to where the oil is going to drain out of. And make sure you get yourself a little bucket and an adjustable like this. Give it some way to breathe. Wait. Just let it drain. Oil draining. We can go ahead and get some other things completed like changing the air filter here by opening up both these clips, pulling this off, and putting a new one on. Now with the new one on, we can go ahead and put this cover back on and tie it back in. The next thing we're gonna do is take this spark plug off, like so. Make sure you have a deep socket set. And what you're looking for is the 5 8 socket itself. Get in here and take this spark plug off like this. Look at that. That's carbon build up all over it. And that's the new spark plug. The gap is very similar. So it looks good to me. The next thing we're going to do is put it back in here. Plug itself. And once you're tight like that, now I'm tight, just give it a little twist. Go ahead and put the spark plug back in and get the oil filter changed out. It looks like we got a lot of oil out currently. So it's good practice to put an oil pad underneath the oil filter so that it doesn't make a mess of everything. And then you'll use a pair of oil filter grips like this and lefty loosey. Once this is out, just like that, you could clean up this spot, lubricate the gasket like this and get this new gasket on. You only want this to be hand tight. After we clean up all the oil residue that's left over, you don't want this to smoke up Shut later. this back off carefully. Now that this is off, we can take this hose off. All right, now that that's off, we close this up. And let's finish cleaning this up here. Next thing we gotta do is get oil into the motor. Empty that out. Did you guys know you're supposed to pour oil like that? Now you do. So while I wait for the oil to settle, there are a couple other things you can do. Looking, Looking for, for burnt wires, chewed wires, anything like that, because rodents can get in here. I'm just cleaning up any of the oil residues and dirt that has accumulated for the year. We can always store some extra resources here and inside of this cabinet to make sure that there's always oil here on site and a spark plug just in case of emergency. Let's go ahead and check the oil level one more time. And you can see here that it's in that line. Perfect. Go ahead and get this put back together. We're going to slide it onto the hinges starting with the front. Like that. Once that's on, you can go ahead and put the wing nut back on here. sure that the front is aligned first. I want to be on the inside of these panels so like that and then there you go now you can screw the back in and then the front grab this panel making sure this panel is on the inside of both the back and front panels and just like that and like that. Sure to wipe down and just run it. <coughs> okay, start up without the gas. Make sure you have gas. 
All right, guys, that's how you maintain a Kohler 12 RESV generator.